Oh joy. I logged on the server and it kicked me off and now it thinks I'm still logged on. There we go. Maybe. Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Can I go to bed? <gasps> yes! Yay! Okay, that's what I was trying to do when I got kicked before. Alright. Hello everybody. How are you? Um, I have not been on the server since I since the last episode. <laughs> so I don't uh, I don't know what's going on. And let's go got stuff in my pocket that I don't really need to have um, let's go take a flight there's the elytra sound bug and uh, let's go I don't know let's go look uh, see if there's anything new over in the amusement park I think that's the all the area that's likely to have changed much and we'll take a little detour here at the iron farm uh, so a couple more snapshots last week or this week and they have made some additional changes to villagers and such yeah okay there's still stuff going on here um <clears throat> so honestly i don't know actually i only need twice yeah, um, I, I, I'm still not quite sure how we're going to be impacted by the changes to villagers. Still waiting to see how that all resolves. Uh, looks like they need they need beds in order to breed now. Um, so if they decide they're gonna they need more villagers, they base it based on the number of beds that are out as opposed to the number of doors. So that's fine. Um, we will rearrange things as necessary to make that happen. Where? Oh yeah, let's let's go in over here. Um, that will be. Wait, were there squid in here? Is this a river biome? Biome. Desert. Biome. River. Okay. That explains that. Anyway. Um. Ooh. Multiple beacons going on now. I lost my train of thought. Let's take a peek down here. See if there's been any obvious changes. Ow. Wow. Yeah, so all these got... Die. Ow. Ow. <laughs> We're lagging a little bit, aren't we? That's okay. Whew. So yeah, the hole's bigger. Bigger enough that I guess Barb decided then the second beacon was necessary. Wow. Oh, and Barb is here. It's a big hole. There's lava over here. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Okay, well, I really didn't have too much to do. At least not the plan. Um, I've been very busy lately with the Magic Castle audition, which is uh, tomorrow. And I think I'm ready. I think I don't know. It's I, I we'll we'll see. Um, 
the main I'm I'm doing basically the same routine I uh, do basically the same routine um, I had a coin trick that I was doing that is needs to be or needed to be mo heavily modified and oh I'm surprised that lava hasn't burned down all those planks uh, it needs to be heavily modified and so I'm uh, been rehearsing that a lot I think I have that that script sort of nailed down and worked out so um, it can do its thing so uh, I've just been kind of running that over and the trick is wait why are those slimes not moving Am I still on the server? No, I don't think I am. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Yeah, that's, this is, uh, not great. Um, lots of lag going on. Um, and that's that. Let me go, let me go chat with Barb a little bit and then, uh, see if there's anything else to look at. Ooh, so Barb is, uh, digging down. She's putting glass down here, uh, over the, the bedrock. And I think she's putting glass all the way down to bedrock. So it's a lot of extra glass. And then she's taking this all out, and it's a pain in the butt. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of a pain in the butt, and so I'm, I'm just trying to convince her that she should get some TNT. And blow some holes. So, anyway. Um, coin trick is has evolved into kind of a story about president Glo grover cleveland using the magic to sort of illustrate the story which i like and some of my 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 most favorite uh um some of my, my most favorite magic experiences have involved story time storytelling rather than just being like oh uh, here's, here's a trick. Oh, you don't know what I'm doing. Um, so, uh, so anyway, I'm trying to do something like that. I think it'll work because it's kind of what I was doing before, only I think it's a little more cohesive now. And all I'm trying to do is just eliminate a, um, uh, oh, what's going on here? Oh, uh, trying to eliminate... Uh, rearrange things a little bit to focus on the coin part of the the coin part of it finding finding the coin as opposed to doing the little um, spiked coin box which I made I 3d printed and I'm very proud of um, and I didn't kind of want to show off so I'm still sort of talk about it but it's not the focus of the thing and it's kind of a dumb trick so it's not like anybody there is going to be impressed by it they might be impressed by the fact that I made one, uh, but they won't necessarily be impressed by uh, doing... <clears throat> oh, she's got some TNT. They won't be necessarily... <laughs> uh, they won't be necessarily impressed by... by um, or they won't be impressed by doing it. And especially since last time I had a little bit of trouble with the... Um, getting the lid on... Boom! Um, getting the lid on the box and getting it lined up nicely. Uh, so that's... Um, so by rearranging things a little bit, I can not have to worry about that piece of it. And it should feel a little bit more cohesive, I hope. Oh, she's doing it fancy-wise with the flame and arrow. Boom, boom. Ho oh ho Nice. Oh, she found some lapis. 
so um so yeah i'm doing that telling the story of how grover cleveland when he was in office in his second term he he developed a, a malignant tumor on the top of his mouth on the top of his, his upper jaw and they decided they had to remove it to save his life uh, but and the country was in the midst of a financial crisis and they were worried that if people found out the, the president was sick or the president was incapacitated that uh, boom um, that they would that there would be a run on the banks and and then the economy would literally collapse I mean it was it was a pretty serious situation so the um, uh, so they 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 put him on a yacht that belonged to a Commodore in the Navy and uh, and then they boom uh, and then they sailed out into the middle of the Potomac River and and uh, they operated on him boom they operated on him while on the boat <laughs> and they kept the whole thing a secret they didn't even tell the vice president that they were doing it uh, so anyway that was that's kind of the story is built around that and then I I have little three little cups that are like fancy cups and balls cups and I use them to cover up the coins and and then I find Grover Cleveland because uh, there was a newspaper reporter who actually kind of stumbled onto the story and figured out what was going on and he wrote a story in the newspaper and and the administration freaked out because they didn't want this getting out they wanted to keep it a secret and so they uh, they ended up crying like fake news and they called him a liar which was a bit much uh but then they uh and then they organized or arranged a sort of a public viewing or a public appearance by the president uh, so that the newspapers could f see him up and around, even though he was still recovering from the surgery. Uh, and so they, they managed to keep they managed to keep it a secret for quite a while, like 25 years. It's pretty impressive. Anyway, so that's that's kind of the story that I tell. And then I do a little magic i find the, i find the grover cleveland coin i have two others of the same size you know the, the new dollar coins the susan b anthony and the sacagawea golden dollars and uh and so i i find grover and you sort of solve the mystery of where he is uh so anyway i think that's i think that's kind of cool um it appeals to me at least uh it's not super magical per se but it is, um, uh, you know, as long as I go through and I, I did the finding of the coin bit last in the last audition, and um, it turns out that they kind of uh, they don't they did not figure out how I actually found the coin, so I actually fooled them with that, which I was not planning on ex or expecting to fool them with anything and I managed to I managed to fool them with that piece of it which is kind of cool I'm kind of proud of myself for that and even though they might have figured it out in the meantime because honestly if they think about it they they should be able to figure it out but uh, but anyway if I if I can fool them again with that then the fact that the trick wasn't super awesome shouldn't matter and it's something I can keep working on it and, and try to improve it over time. But for right now, I, it's where it's at, and I think it's pretty good. I just have to remember my script, and I have to. There's a couple. There are a couple little tricky spots where I have to actually go and find where the coin is. Uh, so as long as I do that, okay, um, I should be fine. And then there's a there's a couple card tricks that I should be able to do no problem i don't expect to be a problem um we will see and that will be that will be that and hopefully next time i'm recording um i will have an update for what happened and blocks here i have blocks uh, updated for what happened 
in case anyone cares. And um, <clears throat> and then the next time after that, hopefully I will have good news. There's another slime chunk over here. Oh. Caves? Oh. Cave system. Nice. You know what? I should be careful here. I don't want to get lost. I'm already kind of turned around. So yeah. Anyway, that's that's that. I just wanted to record. Oh, here I am. A little bit to update that and get something recorded so I can quickly edit it and upload it tomorrow. So I'm, this is it's Sunday today, and I'll be maybe uploading this Monday, early Monday, and then my audition is Monday night. So that's that. So anyway, um, I think that's it. I'll leave you now. And uh, I will see you next time. And we will have other things to do. Like I have villager breeder testing to do and that kind of stuff. So there we go. Thank you for watching. This is Theron been Minecraft Land Party, and I'll see you next time. Bye.